Okay, now look at this. A simple pendulum makes 120 complete oscillations in 3 minutes at a location where g equal to 9.80 meter per second square. Find the period of the pendulum and the length. Okay, so this is a pendulum. Okay, this is a pendulum, simple pendulum. Uh, here he gives us uh, 120 complete oscillation in 3 minutes. So this one can help us to find the frequency. Uh, yeah, frequency you just use. Uh, it can can find us a frequency. Uh, can find us a frequency. Can find us a, a period and omega later on. Yeah, and then we have the g uh, g value. So we want to find the period and the length. Okay, so very simple. So let us find the frequency first. So frequency is actually the number of uh, oscillation uh, in one second. Uh, that means in one second, uh, how many oscillations completed? Uh, how many oscillations completed uh, in within one second? Uh, the number of oscillation completed in one second. So to find that, we just take the hundred twenty uh, complete oscillations. Okay, complete oscillations uh, divided by the time taken, which is uh, 3 minutes. Okay, 3 minutes I need to convert to uh, second. So I multiply by 60, so I will get second. Uh, so, um, so, okay, so what's the answer? Uh, so, uh, 120 uh, divided by uh, Three minute, uh, three minute convert to second. That means time sixty second. Okay, so I get uh, it is uh, zero. Uh, okay, so it is um, oh two over three hertz. Uh, I get two over three hertz. Ah, uh, okay, two over three hertz. Or it is um. Uh, zero point six seven hertz, or we can say it is zero point six seven uh per second. Uh, that means uh it makes it makes uh zero point six seven oscillation uh within one second. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, so that means in one second. It doesn't even complete one oscillation. It just completed 0 0.67 oscillation. Okay. Uh, so that is, uh, that is means by the frequency. Okay. Uh, so now, I uh, want to find period, isn't it? Uh, so for, for period, it is, you just take one over frequency. Okay. So uh, I just, I like to use the fraction one. Okay. It's easier. Uh, yeah. 2 over 3, so it becomes uh, 3 over 2, uh, which is also 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 second. Uh, 1.5 second. Is the answer correct? Yes, it is uh, 1.5 second. That's correct. Okay. Uh, so uh, I got a period, so I want to find the length later on. So uh, that's the question A. So just put this to the other side. Okay. Now I want to find the length. Uh, I want to find the length. So for pendulum, pendulum formula is simple pendulum is period equal to 2 pi square root L over G, length over gravity. Huh? So the formula for simple pendulum is 2 pi square root L over G. Uh, I have the period 1.5 second uh, and then I can find the length. Uh, the gravity is 9.80 yeah? because the green given G is 9.80. Uh -huh, okay, uh, so we can find the, the length. Okay, let's calculate. Okay, so I got the answer is uh, 0. 5, 6, uh, 0 0.56 meter. Okay. Uh, 
So uh, SI unit lah, because all in SI unit. Uh, this one also already convert to second, right? Just now I already convert this one, the minute into second, yeah? By, uh, you see, by multiplying 60 seconds. Okay, all con make sure all in SI unit, nah? all in SI unit. Okay, um, yeah, in meter because the unit is in meter, the length is in meter because the gravity is in meter, yeah, gravity is in meter, so the length is meter. Okay, so uh, that answer is correct. Okay, 0 0.56 meter, that's correct. Okay, that's all for these questions. Okay, bye.